part of the success of the new generation of hovercraft is that the companies that make them know their limitations, so they produce practical, reliable machines to fill a very defined niche in the market. Long gone are the fanciful dreams of the 1960s that one day we'd all be riding round on our own personal hovercraft. Hey Johnny, I think you might be wrong there. If you look close enough, there's still a few dreamers out there. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's really cool, but what is it? It's an Australian airboard. Yeah? Can I have a go? No. And it's no gimmick. It is a full-blown hovercraft with a proper lift fan to get it airborne. The only difference from a conventional hovercraft is that it's got a hidden wheel that touches down to drive it forward, which is a bit of a cheat, but it's still pretty cool. Now, if you're sitting at home thinking you'd really like to own a hovercraft but don't want to spend a fortune buying one, we might just have the answer. We're going to show you how you can build your own hoverboard for around £150. All you need is a piece of plywood, some plastic sheeting, some drain pipe and a leaf blower. Now this is what we've done. We've attached a petrol-driven leaf blower to a piece of plywood. The air from the blower is going to go down through this downpipe, through a hole in the board to the underside. This PVC sheeting is our improvised hovercraft skirt or air chamber, and the air escaping through these holes that we've made will hopefully provide the lift to get us off the ground. Now let's put it down, and I'm going to fire it up, mate, OK? cushion provided by the blower lifts the heavy plywood board and 100 kilograms of Johnny off the ground with ease. Right, I'm going to give you a push and let you go, yeah? Go! And because there's very little contact with the floor, there's very little friction, which means all you need to do is apply a tiny force to go flying. <laughs> Johnny, it's working a treat! <laughs> Having a ride height of just a few centimetres means it wouldn't be very good on rough ground. But on a smooth, polished gym floor, our do-it-yourself hovercraft is definitely a success. 